another in the Sailing Anarchy FaceTime series um, here in Fort Lauderdale at the Melbourne 32 Gold Cup with Dave Ullman. Dave, nice to see you again. Oh, it's nice to see you. So, um, Dave, tell us a little about the program that you're on, uh, that uh, you're sailing with. Alex Jackson, and it's a new program. This is our first regatta. We've sailed two days before this, and everybody's new to the boat, and we're learning, and um, had, a, had a good day of sailing today. I'm quite happy with how it came out today. What was your score line, you know? No, I think we're either 8th or ninth, something like that. Great. Uh, we had one good one, one medium one, and one not so good one. And a, a day of how you got off the line was how you did. Yeah. 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 Normal stuff. Right. Yeah. So, so um, uh, this is, I know you've sailed the boat a bit, but, but uh, this is your first time racing first, a 32. First today was first time I've ever raced on a 32, and it was good fun. Yeah? A little more breeze, be a little more exciting, but it's plenty good sailing. How do you compare it to... Uh, to the 24 fleet uh, and racing style and it's you know it's the caliber is not as good as the 24s but you wouldn't expect it to be it certainly is as good as the 24s in the very early stages uh the caliber of the people sailing on the boats is spectacular right as you would expect with three pros on each boat sure it's quite quite good um, but the general caliber of the driving is is very good for an owner driver class now you have an advantage in that your owner Alex Jackson, who by the way um, owns Speedboat as well as uh, their tender this week, um, but Alex was a two-time All-American college sailor. Two-time All-American and uh, took a sabbatical to uh, earn a living, and now is back sailing and uh, more practice time. And Alex is going to be right at the top of the class. So you get to you get you, you really do have an easier job than a lot of the other tacticians out here trying to get their well, owners actually, up to speed. Actually, Brad Boston is doing the tactics, and I'm trimming the main. All right. We're, well, we're doing a collaboration on tactics, but Brad's the primary, and I'm I'm trimming the main. Now, why did you why did you arrive at that decision? Uh, I was late coming into this project. <laughs> <laughs> I was happy just to go sailing. Well, good. Yeah, well, good. And it's fun. I, you know, I normally don't get to trim the main. It's it's a joy. Well, we just talked to uh, the main trimmer off of New Wave. We were asking him a little bit about how much work it is in this stuff, which was velocity up and down all day. Uh, it's a lot of work. It is, it's, huh? it's moving stuff all the time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's not very physical. It doesn't pull very hard, but there's plenty to do. I mean, you So know, what's your primary control in this sort of... Uh, backstay. Uh, backstay in this. Really? Yeah. You backstay flattens the main and the jib simultaneously, so you're on and off the backstay every puff. And every tack. And every tack, Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. What about travel? Are you, are you moving uh, it much? Or? No, not so much. Uh, main sheet off and on a bit. Traveler pretty much pinned on the high side all, all day today, but backstay moving quite a bit. All right. Yeah. No, it's, it's good. Good fun. So um, have you talked to, uh, or has Alex said anything about sort of the difference between driving this and, and some of the other boats that he's... he's well, sailing? it's uh, the other two boats he's been sailing recently are uh, Speedboat, which is obviously totally different. Yeah. And then he, he has a Swan 42, and still pretty if I, different. If I had to guess, he'd never sail in the Swan 42 again. He'll only sail this. I'm boat. not quite sure why anyone does. Uh, we're, we won't go into that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll leave that one alone. But he seems genuinely thrilled sailing this boat. It's yeah. just responsive well, and fun, world apart, yeah. and performs and does all the right things. These, these are quite good sailboats. Yeah, well, I enjoy them. They're a blast, yeah, and yeah, I think uh, I think that the fact that there are 20 boats here. Now, with sort of everything that's going on, is it, absolutely is it they're going to be the second biggest class at Key West easily. Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's amazing. Twenty fours will be the biggest class, and they'll be down a fair amount from last year. And the, this boat will be up from last year. Really, we'll have more boats than last year. Well, last year there were forty six Melvis twenty fours. How many you think will show up this year? Forty. That's okay. my guess. That's, that's but we should have sixty being a world's year, I know. and we're not going to. And my guess is we'll have twenty eight or twenty nine of these boats. Um, so they'll be the second biggest class, and that's great. I mean, it just shows, well, there's a lot of people that are sailing these boats are downsized from previous projects, and that's a sign of the economy. Right. But at least they get to go sailing something. Their downsizing will actually, I think they'll be uh, happier sailing these than they would the bigger boats. Right. Yeah. And I think you're going to see everybody from the far 40s coming across. Yeah, I mean, there's no, there's no real comparison. No, there. no. No, financially, fun, any of the parts. Yeah. All right. Well, hey, Dave, thank you. Very and, good. Uh, you know, actually, talk to me one more thing. I, I haven't really spent a lot of time um, getting to know what the state of sales and sale development and who's 
who's uh, who's going well in the class? What are you guys sailing with this weekend? Norse. Norse. Boat came with Norse, and we looked at them, and we were quite happy. I mean, most of the boats out there are Norse. There's one quantum boat that's doing quite well mm -hmm. now, and there's a, a couple Ullman boats, and they're doing um, okay. We're in the middle of a sail development project at Ullman Sales. Ullman really? Doyle, actually, combination. You're working with, with, uh, with Brad? Yes, working with Brad. Um, but <clears throat> it's primarily right now in North Class. All right, well, when do you think uh, your, your, uh, your new designs will come we out should, from the... We should have stuff by Key West. Really? We should have okay. our new, new stuff at, Key, at Excellent. Key West for everybody. And, and then where are, those being, um, where are those being designed primarily? In, in, in with, uh, with Doyle or, or with you? Or? With us. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, with some with certainly input from the Doyle side. But with and, us. and everything, or are you working on a main and jib now? Main and or? jib right now. Okay. Work on spinnakers later. Okay. Yeah, and the main and jib we thought needed the most attention right now. And we'll go. We'll go to spinnakers next. Well, we'll certainly look for it. Yeah, You're not going to go back run, are you? No, no a little too big. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Yeah, well, we'll, Dave, good some, luck tomorrow. Kind of we'll, we'll be watching you Break. and, uh, and uh, go get them. Very good. Cheers.